Hey guys, it's me Lexi and welcome back or welcome to my channel. If you don't know, I am Alexis. I love The Sims 3. I'm a stan. I'm a stan. Okay, this is what I do. I play The Sims 3 and we, that's it. Okay, I don't play The Sims, okay, I actually do play The Sims 4 sometimes, but like Sims 3 has my heart and um, I haven't been uploading because one, I have like severe depression and anxiety and also BPD. So like I just kind of been struggling. Um, <clears throat> but I was also working 60 hours a week and also a full-time nursing school student. And I was just really struggling to like find time to even do anything with myself. But I am really feeling a lot better. I did quit my job. I found a new one where I can work like 40 hours a week and I'll be really good. And I just, I genuinely have always loved recording and I feel like I finally can again. Like I have time to myself and I, uh, I am leaving t Thursday. It's Tuesday when I'm recording this, but, um, I'm leaving Thursday for drill and then I'll be back Tuesday and then I'll be able to probably record like Wednesday and stuff. So expect like slow uploads for the first like week or two, but I also want to start a Sims podcast where we just kind of talk about the Sims um, with two of my really good friends that love to play The Sims. Um, and then I want to have, like, people on there, like, guests and stuff to come talk about it with us and stuff like that because I just, there's a lot I have to say and, like, wishes that I feel like need to get out there and, like, just, I don't know. I love listening to people talk about The Sims and I think it'd be really good, like, background, um, noise or, like, whatever to listen or watch when you're playing and I think, I think a lot of you guys would enjoy it. Um, but anyways, we are starting a new Let's Play because, um, I just want something fresh. I feel like if I go back to a Let's Play, it's going to be a little bit too much for me because I did have to fix my game, like, completely. I deleted all, literally all of my custom content just so I could get it to work, um, or be smooth. Honestly, like, I have, I had so much CC from, like, 2013, um, even earlier than that, like, it just was so outdated and so incompatible with so much new CC. I just needed to get, like, new stuff, basically. So, I did go a little bit of CC shopping. I need to go again so I can have more outfits for, um, my Sims, but for the most part, I'm good right now. Um, <clears throat> but my game is a lot smoother and it makes me really happy. Oh my god, okay. And that's another reason I wasn't uploading because I couldn't even play the game. Like, I literally could not play the game. It was horrendous. Horrendous. So, <clears throat> but the sim we're starting out with is, his name's Enzo Vanderbilt. He's like a little bachelor. Um, he actually grew up to be really rich. Um, his family gave him pretty much anything he wanted to or wanted. Um, and that's not the reason he lives in this house, okay? This is his house, by the way. Um, this is his little bachelor pad, but he is very a successful man. Like, he did um, work really hard for what he has uh, now because he's, like, in the business career. He's high up in there. Um, but literally, he uh, he did start off from quite a bit of cash money, if you will. I mean, his last name says it all, right? But in high school, Enzo was with this woman her name was Samantha. She's in the world. I literally went all out, guys. Like, I'm, <laughs> I really love this man for some reason. I've never played with a man, um, <laughs> without a woman. So, like, I was kind of scared, but, like, also kind of excited because I was like, you know, it's different. Like, I get to have a lot of drama and I get to have, like, a different storyline that I don't normally go for. So, <clears throat> I wanted to just try something different. But, yeah, he went to high school with this girl named Samantha and the they were really in love, like, they would lay in bed with each other and look at houses on Zillow, like, dreaming, like, oh, we're gonna put our kids in this room, like, the boy in this room, this will be a gaming room, like, they were absolutely obsessed with each other, but when they went to college, um, they kind of got a little distant towards their sophomore year, um, but Enzo, this whole time, that whole time, like, literally debated on, like, asking this woman to marry him because he, to this not to this day, but to that point, he was absolutely infatuated and in love with that woman. He wanted nothing else, nobody else, but Samantha. And he even showed up to her dorm room, dorm, 
room on love day with like a dozen roses and a giant teddy bear like trying to swoon her over but it actually found her woohooing with another man so now poor enzo hates love day and um He's a little bit of a heartbreaker now. Uh, that kind of set him over the edge. He ended up joining a frat. Um, in his third year, he decided to pursue, pursue business. So he switched his major from just like gen ed to business in his last two years. That's what he did. And he got his degree in that and became very successful. But uh, the reason why he did that is he binge watched The Wolf of Wall Street. <laughs> um <laughs> I just think that's a really good inspiration for him is The Wolf of Wall Street. And also, Leonardo DiCaprio could... <sighs> anyway. <clears throat> but yeah, he ended up becoming like this complete heartbreaker and like a terrible man to any woman that came his way. And honestly, it was just to protect him from his own heart being broken. But uh, he's super successful. Yeah, his family did help him out a lot. But honestly, most of this is just from him. But he is level six in his career. Um, he does have his degree. He got an A and everything because even though he was in a frat and a little party boy and a little man slut, he did try very hard when he was in college. Uh, but now there's a lot of women and a lot of them will be familiar faces for you guys and also not. But uh, we have, she's a new girl. She's a new girl. She's a new girl for you guys as well. Um, Diana, Diana's here. Okay. She was actually flirting with us just a minute ago. And then this bitch is just, like, someone he works with. This girl, he is, like, oh, my God, with her, like, absolutely infatuated, to be honest with you. Like, he just sees her, and, yeah, she has, like, a lot of, she has a lot of work done, okay? But that's besides the point. She wants to pursue something in the business career as well, and he wants to kind of mentor her and, like, give her lots of good tips and stuff because she didn't go to college like him so she doesn't have as much knowledge on the business aspect of everything so um oh is everyone leaving the party literally just started i started it late so you guys could see okay well, i guess everyone's leaving fun 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 can we like okay <laughs> that's a great party guys um Okay, well, I started it at, like, 7, and it's only 8.30, so I guess everyone just fucking glitched out and decided to leave. So, that's great. Um, but it's fine. Honestly, I'm not too worried about it. But this is his ex-girlfriend. Where is she? Oh, Samantha Hardy. Um, I'll give you guys a bit more of a backstory on her whenever we meet her, which we're gonna go out for, like, coffee or something with her because he kind of wants to get revenge on her. Like, you broke my heart. And she's still, like, in love with him and wants to be with him and to start a family. But honestly, it's just because he's so successful and has a lot of money. But she doesn't actually, like, care about him, obviously, because of what she did. Um, but she does want to use him. So we're thinking about just kind of getting a little bit of revenge on her. And I think he's wanting to do that. So we'll probably ask her to um, go out for coffee or something. But let's talk to Thea. I know she's single. Let's go ahead and give her a little bit of a flirt. Um, he, and he does have, like, he's pretty much friends with everybody. Um, I did kind of cheat that because, like, I imagine, like, he went to high school or college with a lot of these women. Um, he's from this city, which this city, I actually don't know the name of the town, but I can link it down below. This guy on YouTube named CJ Plays, um, <clears throat> He uploads world reviews, like, all the time, and I constantly, even if I'm not actively playing this Instagram, I'm constantly looking at his page and, like, what, what do you got for me? <laughs> I love his world reviews. Um, but it's a really cute world. It's medium-sized, um, but there's honestly so much to do. Uh, it's not the most, like, aesthetically pleasing. Like, this is kind of odd to me, but, like, there's so much to do. Like, I really do love it, and, um... Yeah, it doesn't lag my game at all, which is so nice because it's not clogged with just a bunch of random shit. So that's another reason I really love it. Um, but let's go ahead and just like kind of flirt with her. I think we might try to woohoo with her tonight. Um, I kind of just want to do like the friends with benefits thing with a lot of these girls just because like none of them he wants to like be serious with. So we're not going to like actually kiss them or anything. Like I don't want any romantic stuff with them. So I think we're just going to go ahead and woohoo with her. Um... 
we're not gonna kiss her or anything like that like nothing serious this girl um Rosalind I do want to actually like kiss and like maybe take her on dates and stuff but he's still gonna like be kind of a whore um because he he does have commitment issues um but by, by the way he's a Sagittarius Sagittarius men cannot settle for anything like they will not it, no matter what they tell you no matter what you think they're not gonna settle down okay girl like get away <laughs> from him but he loves indie music spaghetti and the color black so yeah but that's enzo i guess they're gonna go woohoo in the hot tub fun in the rain and actually no in the hail yeah that's it's really good it's really good what is this s sim to join in hot tub no um but let's go ahead and cuddle with her and then we're gonna get a little hootie on she's really cute too like she would honestly be like wifey material because like at the end of the day like yeah he's like a man whore but he wants a woman who is just genuine she's super sweet she wants a big family and she's really just down to earth and like true to herself and that's what he wants in a woman because like i don't know that's how Samantha came off to be, and he absolutely fell in love with Samantha, and then, you know, she turned out to be a completely different person, and it just is really sad for him. Boy, if you don't get in there, let's woohoo. Come on now. I want to woohoo. Get in there and woohoo. Oh my god, forget it. Forget it. We're just gonna go to sleep. We're just gonna go to sleep. But yeah, this is his little bachelor pad. I really love it, honestly. Like, it's super cute. Um, It was not decorated, like, at all when I first moved in. And, you know, I was like, you know what? I don't even really want to decorate it that much. But then I was like, I physically can't live in this house. So I had to decorate it a little bit. And I was thinking, like, how would a man, like, a rich man decorate his house? So then I was like, okay. <laughs> and then I came out with this. But um, I'm gonna go ahead and skip until the morning when he wakes up. Maybe I'll skip until he actually gets home from work. But yeah, I'll see you guys in a minute. Okay, you guys. So we just finished an opportunity along with work, which we actually got a promotion. We are now VP level seven. And um, he did get um, he did get quite the little raise. He makes $320 an hour. But um, <clears throat> I actually wanted to invite out or ask her out on a date, Rosalind, um, because he's very interested in her. Not like for real, but like he's interested in her as, um, and maybe like just like a real little romantic interest. Like he doesn't want anything serious, but he does want to date her like casually. Um, so I think we're going to go ahead and ask her out on a date to this dance club, which I really, really like. And I really wanted to go there while it's still summer. We're just going to pull up at our Mercedes Benz. Hello, $130,000 car. Oh my god. Okay. Yeah, this is the club we're going to. I really love this area, like, a lot. Um, the beach is also really cute. Like, look at this, guys. Like, your, your sims can come camping. Oh god. Um, anyway. It's super cute. <laughs> I love little things like that. But we're gonna go order a drink real quick. And, um, I think we should change our outfit into our everyday wear because this is, like, not cute. We're not gonna chat with you, Hugh ignore that call um so we're gonna change his outfit into his everyday wear and i'm gonna manually change hers because i don't want to look at that <laughs> to be honest like i just don't want to look at that so yeah there we go girl she's so fine oh i love her so much um i do have a little bit of a soft spot for her if you will um, but let's go ahead and heat of the moment kiss her and just see how she takes it. We've known her since, like, high school. Um, and she was kind of ugly in high school. And, like, whatever. Oh. Oh. But she got a lot of work done. Anyway. Um, so she's neurotic. <laughs> what is happening right now? Okay, Rosalind. Okay. Let me order her a drink to kind of, like, make up for what happened. We just had a really bad date with her. Um, <clears throat> I'm so sorry. Please don't leave. Oh my God. She's leaving. Oh my God. Rosalind. You think I don't have a backup? You know what? Bitch. Whatever. Let's invite over. We'll invite over Mabel because Mabel kind of seems like more of a relationship type of girl to be honest, but we're going to just kind of play with her feelings because that's what he does. You know, that's his like. 
specialty is just playing with women and their feelings. This is Samantha. <gasps> this is his ex girlfriend. Oh gosh, she's following us. What are you wearing, Queen? Hold on, let me put her in her everyday wear because this shit is not cute. Like, what is this? Anyway, this is um Samantha. I really didn't think she would even be here. But, yeah, Samantha, the woman we were in love with for many, many years, she got lip injections. Um, she used to be, like, a no-lip kind of bitch. But, anyway, uh, yeah, Samantha, uh, she broke our heart, like, hardcore, and she's just, she's so fucking entitled. Like, she thinks she just deserves everything she receives, but actually, like, she drives, she lives in, like, a mediocre house, which she got herself, and then she drives a Toyota Prius, which there's nothing wrong with that, but, like, she does not understand like her parents had to work really hard to get that for her like her dad had to work so many like so much overtime just to be able to give her that and um she's just like when she got it she's like this is what you're getting me if you know what I mean like that kind of person um so she's just kind of a shit girl like she's not the kind of girl you'd want to start a family with but he didn't really realize that until they broke up and he kind of seen her for what she really is but we're gonna go talk to Mabel we're not gonna let Samantha like ran on our parade oh god this is gonna be so awkward no she's literally in the conversation oh god this is so awkward stop me <laughs> Samantha please just go away she does not like this at all <laughs> I did not ex I didn't expect her to be even like in this conversation right now or we're going to try to kiss her, but we'll see if it works. Um, <clears throat> we have so many wants to kiss, like, three different women. It's ridiculous. Um, he wants to go on a date with Thea. Um, or Mabel? Mabel. Thea. No, Thea. Okay. Oh, my God. I can't all these women and fucking check. I've never had a man whore before. Or man in general. We're going to go woohoo with Mabel. <clears throat> on this public lot because he literally doesn't care um but we do need to go home at a decent time because we are gonna have to go to work in the morning um at 7 a.m so we do need to kind of go home after this but let's go ahead and get our hoodie on with miss mabel oh why not we're here we're feeling square it's always hailing when we get into these fucking hot tubs He's, like, looking around, like, is there anyone watching? She's so cute. I literally love her so much. I want to get her pregnant. <laughs> Stop. I love her. Yeah. Get up in there. Oh, uh, I love the hot tub with who. I think it's so cute. Like, little hand. So cute. Okay, Rosalind obviously is a fucking bitch. Maybe she literally just wants to be mentored. Like, maybe she doesn't actually want anything romantic with me. Maybe she just genuinely wants to, like, a friend. Which is fine. But, like, I don't think he knows how to just be friends with a woman right now. I think he only knows, like, sexual... I don't know. Advances, I guess, is the word. Um, but we're gonna go ahead and get out of this hot tub. Can you, like, come out as well? I want to invite her over so maybe she can just spend the night with us because we really don't like being alone. <laughs> Like, to be honest, he really hates, like, sleeping alone. Um, okay, I guess we got in the other hot tub to do this. What the fuck? Get out, please, sir. Um, okay, let's go invite her over. We literally have to get up for work in, like, four hours. Oh, my God, he's going to be so miserable tomorrow. I'm going to play tomorrow off camera because we'll probably just have to catch up on sleep. But, yeah, we're going to go ahead and invite him, her over. Hopefully she comes. Yes. We're not going to move her or anything. I just literally want her to spend the night. <laughs> so sad. Oh, my God. I've been there, though, girl. Oh. Okay. Let's go ahead and ask her if she wants to stay over. And then we are going to go to sleep because I wanted him to come home, like, two hours ago. Um, he wants to move into a penthouse. Literally not going to happen. i not a fan of apartments in any of the sims games to be honest with you um oh yeah we're gonna go to sleep and um yeah i will probably see you guys in the morning to be honest because like we, we still got some time we still got some time okay side note 
this is so cute. He actually really enjoys playing the guitar. He's actually level um, five of playing guitar. And she's, like, trying to learn it. I think that's so cute. Like, what if she's like, oh, my God, teach me, LOL. And then, I don't know. Like, it'd be kind of cute, right? <laughs> I, like, I romanticize every little thing. It's so sick. Girl. Look at how cute, though. Oh, my God. But he literally just... Oh my god, look at how tired he is. Like, should he just call off? Can we, like, call him sick? There's no point. We're already awake. Oh my god, the carpool's literally here. Don't even eat. Just go to work. Just go to work. Okay, guys. He just got off work, but I think I'm gonna go ahead and end this part, and then I'm just gonna, like, pre-record another part and get that uploaded as well. Um, but... I was gonna just like keep going but honestly like I think I'm just gonna have him sleep for the evening <laughs> into tomorrow sorry I have like little coughing fits here and there but anyway we're yeah I'm just gonna like in the part here I don't want to pre-record the next part because I'm super fucking excited to be honest like I've never played on the map <gasps> I don't know why I'm so excited anyway but yeah he's just gonna go to sleep and then in the next part we'll kind of get going with some more dates and stuff like that maybe we'll like go to the gym and stuff um I do maybe, like, eventually in the Let's Play, kind of want to play with Samantha. Um, I don't know. We'll see, though. But, yeah, I love you guys. Thank you all so, so much for watching, and I will see you all next time. Bye, everybody.